Konnichiwa! Rose desu! Welcome back! In this video, we will learn new Japanese grammar based from the Mina no Nihonga textbook, Lesson 19. Here, we will learn about the ta form of the verb and its uses. If you're ready, hajime masho! Here are the grammar points that we would learn in this lesson. The first one is the ta form of the verb. Ta form of the verb is also known as the plain pass form of the verb. This is the same as verb mashita. So to modify verbs into ta form, the rule is the same as to modifying it to te form. But instead of te, we change it to ta. And for de, we change it to da. For example, nobori mas is nobotta. Ikimas is itta. Norimas is notta. Kaimas is katta. Tomarimas is tomatta. Asobimas is asonda. So here de becomes da. Yomimas becomes yonda. Skurimas becomes skutta. As for Verbs in group 2, all you have to do is change mas to ta, just like so. And for group 3, it's the same thing, just change mas to ta, just like so. Before we proceed, let's have a quick review of the basic verb conjugations and verb tenses that we've learned so far. So far, we've learned about mas form dictionary form, nai form, and ta form. So, for the positive, present, or future tense, we use the mas form. For example, tabe mas, meaning eat. For the negative, present, or future tense, we use verb masen. For example, tabe masen, not eat. For the positive, pass, we use mashita. So the pass of mas is mashita. For example, tabe mashita. Eight. And for the negative pass, we use masen deshita. So from masen, the pass is masen deshita. For example, tabe masen deshita. Did not eat. So this is the polite form. The plain form. We have the positive, present, future tense. We use the dictionary form, which we've learned. So those are verbs ending in ru or the u line. For example, tabemas becomes taberu. But the meaning is the same, only in plain form. For positive, past form, we use the ta form, which we just learned right now. Tabemashita becomes tabeta, but they mean the same thing, eight, only in plain form. The negative present or future tense, we use the nai form of the verb. For example, tabe nai. So we just change mas to nai. So it is the same as tabemasen, only in plain form. And lastly, the negative past form of the verb ends in Nakata. For example, tabe nakata. This is the same as tabe masen deshita. Okay, moving on. The first application of the ta form of the verb is stating that you have experience doing a verb. Or in English grammar, it is the past participle tense. So using the pattern verb. Ta form followed by koto. In lesson 18, we've learned about surukoto ga dekimas. Essentially, adding koto after the verb makes the verb into a noun. So here, verb takoto ga arimas. So if you remember, nani nani ga arimas means to have something. So here, this literally means have the experience of doing verb. For example, I have climbed 
Mount Fuji. Fuji Sao, our verb is climb, which is noborimas. In ta form, it is nobota, followed by koto. Fuji Sao, nobota koto. So this makes the verb into a noun. Next is ga arimas. So I have. Fuji Sao, nobota koto ga arimas. Literally, this means I have the experience of climbing Mount Fuji. But remember, this is a bit different from the plain past tense, which indicates that you did something in the past. For example, I climbed Mount Fuji. Fuji san o noborimashita. So it's different from Fuji san o nobotta koto ga arimasu, which is I have climbed Mount Fuji. Another example, I have been to Italy. Italia ni. Our verb is been, which is itta. From the verb ikimas. Italia ni itta koto ga arimas. Italia ni itta koto ga arimas. Or I have experience going to Italy, which means I have been to Italy. So next is the negative form of ga arimas, which is arimasen. So here we have a negative sentence. I haven't eaten horse meat. Horse meat is baniku. So niku means meat. For horse meat, we add ba before niku, baniku, followed by o. And then our verb is to eat, which is tabemas. In ta form, it is Tabeta, followed by koto, and then ga arimasen, because this is in the negative form. Baniko tabeta koto ga arimasen. Another example, I haven't played pachinko. Pachinko shita koto ga arimasen. Pachinko shita koto ga arimasen. Next is asking question using this pattern. So by now you know the drill. All you have to do is add ta at the end. For example, have you ever ridden a bullet train? Bullet train is shinkansen. O, so our verb is ride, which is norimas. In ta form, it is no. Shinkansen no notta koto ga arimasu ka? Shinkansen no notta koto ga arimasu ka? So if your answer is yes, I have, you can say hai arimasu. Or the long version is hai shinkansen no notta koto ga arimasu. But you can just answer hai arimasu in short. If you say no, I haven't, you can say Iye arimasen. Or the long version is Iye shinkansen no notta koto ga arimasen. Another example is Have you ever tried or eaten sushi? Sushi o. Our verb is eat or try, which is tabemas, which becomes tabeta, followed by koto ga arimasu ka? Sushi o tabeta koto ga arimasu ka? Yes, I have. Only once. Hai, ikkai dake arimasu. Or, no, I have never. Not even once. Iie, ichido mo arimasen. Iie, ichido mo arimasen. Next is the verb tari, tari pattern. Which means, Verb 1, verb 2, verb 3, and so on. So here, we are listing actions or verbs in no particular order. The last part will determine what kind of sentence it is. However, don't confuse verb tari with verb kute, which is used to connect nouns. So in verb kute, verb tu kute, verb tri shimashita pattern, the order of the verb 
is important. So here, verb 1 happened first, then verb 2, and lastly, verb 3. So the order of the verb is emphasize. However, here again, like I said, we're just listing random actions and there could be more than the ones mentioned. This is similar to the nani nani ya, nani nani nado, which we've learned in lesson 10, which is used for nouns. But here, we are listing verbs instead using verb tari. Okay, so for example, the question is, what do you do on weekends? Shumatsu wa nani o shimasu ka? So most probably you do a lot of things during the weekend. So you could list them by saying, on weekends, I do the laundry, I clean the house, I buy groceries, and so on, etc. Shumatsu wa, on weekends, our first verb is do the laundry, which is sentaku shitari. So here, sentaku shimas becomes sentaku shitari. Verb 2 is clean the house, which is soji shitari. And our verb 3 is buy groceries or go shopping, which is kaimono shitari. Followed by shimas or shitemas. So this is the future or present tense. And also shitemas is since this is a habitual action, we can use shitemas. Shumatsu wa sentaku shitari, soji shitari, kaimono shitari shimasu. Or, shumatsu wa sentaku shitari, soji shitari, kaimono shitari shiteimasu. Another example is, what did you do last winter vacation? So, just recently, we had a long holiday vacation. So, for you, yasumi wa nani o shimashita ka? For example, I went to Tokyo hang out with some friends, played games, and so on. So, watashi wa Tokyo e ittari, tomodachi to asondari, game o shitari. And since this is in the past form, we say shimashita. Watashi wa Tokyo e ittari, tomodachi to asondari, game o shitari shimashita. So as you've noticed, the tense of the verbs doesn't really matter. Just put them in the tari tari form and then the last part will determine what kind or what tense the sentence is. Another example, what do I have to do before the trip? For example, you have to buy a new bag. Confirm the hotel reservation, make a trip itinerary, and so on. So, anata wa atarashi kaban o kattari, hotel no yoyaku o kakunin shitari, plan o sukuttari, shinakereba narimasen. And last example, if the question is like, what are your hobbies? 趣味は何ですか? So if you have more than one hobby, you can list them down by using the tari tari form. For example, my hobbies are reading books, listening to music, playing games, and so on. Watashi no shumi wa hon o yondari, ongaku o kiitari, game o shitari, suru koto desu. So in lesson 18, we've learned about dictionary form followed by koto and desu when talking about our hobbies. So here we have shumi wa hon o yondari. 音楽を聞いたり、ゲームをしたりすることです。Next is the word narimas, which means become or to become. So it is attached after an e adjective, na adjective, or a noun. For e adjective, you remove e and replace that with 
So, e adjective k followed by narimas. So, to become e adjective. So, for na adjectives or nouns, we don't have to change anything, but we need to put ni after followed by narimas. For example, become strong. So, strong in Japanese is tsuyoi. So, tsuyoi removed e and replaced that with ku. Tsuyoku followed by narimas. Tsuyoku narimas become strong. So, for example, in our sentence, I want to become strong. Watashi wa tsuyoku. And since there is want to become, so narimas will become naritai des. Watashi wa tsuyoku naritai des. So, narimas becomes naritai, followed by des. Another example, become better. So our adjective is jōzu, which is a na adjective. So here we add ni, jōzu ni, followed by narimas, meaning to become better. So for example, you want to say, your Japanese has gotten better. Anata wa nihongo ga. Next example is using a noun. So here we say turn 30 years old. So from 29 years old, you're turning to 30 years old. So, sai ni narimas. For example, the sentence is this year I'll turn 30 years old. Kotoshi sanju sai ni narimas. So, because this is in the future tense, so will become. Another example of using a noun, we have pilot. So, to become a pilot. Pairoto ni narimas. For example, the sentence is, My son wants to become a pilot. Musuko wa Pairoto ni naritagat eimas. Because we are talking about someone else's wants, we use the pattern ga teimas. Musuko wa pairoto ni naritagat eimas. And lastly, the word so desu ne. So we've encountered this before. So this phrase show that you agree or you sympathize with the speaker. For example, the speaker says, smoking cigarette is not good for the body. So you say, I agree. Tabako su koto wa karada ni yokunai desu yo. I agree. So desu ne. Or, it's already getting late. I gotta go home. Oh, you're right. Mo osoku narimas. Kairanai to. Or, kairanai to ikemasen. Or, kairanakereba narimasen. Ah, so desu ne. And last example, iPhone 10 is better than iPhone 8, right? Yes, it is. iPhone 10 wa iPhone 8 to yori i desu ne. If you agree, you can say, so desu ne. Or, I haven't used either or I haven't used both, so I don't know. Dochira mo tsukatta koto ga arimasen kara wakarimasen. Dochira mo tsukatta koto ga arimasen kara wakarimasen. So desu ne can also be used as a filler. Just like, let me see. Mm. For example, what do you want to eat? Mm, let me see. I want to eat a cake. Nani ga tabetai desu ka? So desu ne. Keiki ga tabetai desu. So, those are the grammar points for this lesson. If you have any questions or clarifications, make sure to write them down in the comment section below. 
But before we end this video, let's have a quick review of the main grammar patterns that we've learned today. And then after that, we will have a conversation practice so you can practice listening and speaking in Japanese. So first, we've learned about ta form of the verb. So for group one, we followed the rules in changing mas to te form. But instead of te, we use ta. And for de, we use da. For group two and group three, we just change mas to ta. Next, we've also learned how to express have the experience of doing an action or a verb using form followed by koto ga arimasu. For example, watashi wa fujisan wo nobotta koto ga arimasu. Italia e itta koto ga arimasu. Baniku wo tabetta koto ga arimasu. You can also ask questions. For example, anata wa nani nani koto ga arimasu ka? We've also learned how to list multiple verbs or actions. Verb 1, verb 2, verb 3, and so on. So, by using tari tari form. For example, sentaku shitari, soji shitari, kaimono shitari shimasu. Tokyo e ittari, asondari, game o shitari shimashita. Kaban o kattari, yoyaku shitari, purano sukuttari, shinakereba narimasen. Hon o yondari, ongaku o kiitari, game o shitari, surukoto desu. We've also learned to express become an adjective or a noun. For example, suyoku narimasu, jōzu ni narimasu, sanjusai ni narimasu. You can also ask questions like nani ni naritai desu ka? Meaning, what do you want to be or what do you want to become? Sashimi wo tabeta koto ga arimasu ka? Amerika e itta koto ga arimasu ka? Shoumatsu wa nani o shimasu ka? Yasumi wa nani o shimashita ka? Anata wa nani ni naritai desu ka? So this is a very big question, so feel free to answer anything you want. Okay, so that's it for today's lesson. If you find this video helpful, please give this a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss any of the future lessons. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye!